Otty, and today on Crazy Boy Studios, we have something new and amazing just for you. But first, Johnny, run the sequence! Hello everybody, Crazy Boy here, and today we are playing a little game called Vaxitron that I bought recently from the Humble Bundle. I don't think you can buy it anymore. Anyways, I have a friend here with me. Hi, I'm Psycho. Hey, I'm sure you all remember him. Maybe, maybe not. I have him on a few videos. Probably not. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're going to start off showing you guys Adventure Mode. Uh, okay, we'll just get right into it. Now, while I'm walking around here, uh, uh, simply I'm going to give a little explanation of the game. Basically, it's a very uh, arcade, old arcade Robotron reminiscent game. If you ever played Robotron, um, this that's probably one of the first things you think of when you see this game. Very similar. Um, except, one, this is three-dimensional. Two, it's very destructible. Three, uh, there's actually real structures in the game. Um, I remember I played Robotron on a small handheld port when I was younger. Didn't like it that much though, because I'm not much for the very old arcade games. They're very hard, very, very difficult. Don't make it difficult games like that anymore. Okay, so when you start off this little sign right here, um, I think it is. I can, no, you can't shoot it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I did that. Because supposedly this adventure mode, um, it really isn't that long. <coughs> and it's supposedly made with the default level editor that is in the game um, with a few things that was created out of the reach of a normal player such as the final boss in the adventure mode which they apparently s said they created uh, the creators of the game said they made with just a few hacks anyways so what do you got to say about it uh, psycho um, I honestly think this is a really good game. It's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you can do on it. And, uh, I think it's pretty sweet how everything, like, breaks when you shoot it. It's a really nice game. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, that right there is a pickup. I'll show you that. Oh, just got hit. Ooh, triple shot. Alright. Now, one thing I want to mention is I've seen lots of different people, um, doing Let's Plays of this game, uh, recently after it just came out. And I just gotta say that the one thing I don't understand is how come everybody that let's plays these new games just horribly sucks at them um not that I'm trying to insult anybody but I mean you know I it just kind of I, I go by the standard that a person should at least have played a game first practice it and try to get you know at least slightly good at it before they go showing it off to people all right I'll just get that for the points all right so come back out here I'm gonna key Alright, now I've already beaten this, like, twice. <laughs> um, and th the adventure mode really isn't what's so cool about Voxitron, really. Um, Vox the adventure mode really has no actual true point in the game other than just to be, <coughs> like, a test level. Uh, really, the, the main point of Voxitron is to play all the... All the uh, custom-made maps that other players create, which are very neat. I'll, I'll show you guys that uh, later. Um, there's a very large archive right now um, that's still growing, and it's growing fairly quickly, of new players posting custom-made maps. Uh, very, very cool. Right now, you can, in the editors, you can do uh, things such as create your own structures, 
you can add all different like um, add items, create sort of a uh, like uh, switches to like activate certain things like monsters appearing and doors opening with like keys and stuff. Uh, like I said, pretty much everything that you see in the adventure mode can be done in the editor. Although also one thing that was added recently was the ability to custom create your own player character for your particular map. Now, by which I mean you can't just create a character to go in and play any map with, but when you create your own map, you can create a specific player character for that map that people will play as. Alright. So, I've got to think something to talk about. Uh, uh, futon! Right. Well, that's what it looked like. Those things. Mm hmm. Looks like a futon thing. Wait, no. Futon's a couch bed, isn't it? Yeah. Are you talking a cot or something? Or a table? Bed. Some sort? I don't know. It looked like some sort of, uh, some sort of Chinese seat thing. Oh, yeah. One of those, uh, Chinese tables. Yeah, one of those weird, like, little tables. They have, like, the blankets on them or whatever. I yeah. don't know what they're called. Uh, I can't recall either. I know they have... I remember... The, uh, I saw them somewhere. They, they're supposed to have, like... They have heaters hooked to the bottom of them. And the... Uh, they'll, like... The, well, that... No, that's in, that's Japanese I'm thinking of. It's this, it's this table with a, heat, with a heater on the bottom of it. And they'll just sit at it with their legs underneath this thick blanket that's laying over it and it'll just uh, keep them warm alright so okay so this over here is a bonus multiplier not very useful right now since I just killed everything uh, that over there is triple shot like um, you saw earlier this is duplicate which doesn't do anything now because there aren't any monsters in the room but if there are monsters in the room and you get, grab a duplicate it will um, double all the monsters Alright, this right here is a blaster. Very nice. Yeah. Alright, well. Alright. Let's do this. Come at me, bro. Purple. Orange, purple, red, more orange, blue, more purple. Ah. Uh, there's a little cyan on those ones. Wow, what a robust color palette! They're so colorful. Ow! You hit me in my eye. My robot eye. My robotic eye. You hit me in it. Why don't you show them what that pickup does? Ouch. You hit me. Huh. Yeah, I'll show them in a minute. Oh, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what this one does. Okay, come on, come on. All right, boom. It's a boom. It's Ultra a kill. Yeah. Ultra kill. Mass destruction. Yep, I know there's another bomb over there. I never get it though. All right, get that. Grab that. Come on. You want some? You want some? You you can't take me. You can't take me. Stop being quiet, psycho. Right. We're supposed to be a psycho, not Mr. I don't say anything, Mickey. See, that's the contradiction. Contradiction. I don't want any of that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Boom. I don't get why people suck at this room. It's so easy. Come on. Ah. Seriously, I've been watching people play play this online, and they play uh, this room here. They get to this room with all these little guys in here, and then they just die over and over and over. And it's like, it's not that hard. Um, this is one dude. Oh, was, I can't remember what his name was. One uh, more popular YouTube, YouTube user. He kept dying over and over. Okay, what's going on? Hello? 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 Oh, ha, there's one trap. 
Yeah, some for some reason they can like move through blocks and stuff. Yeah, they they're well they're very very they're very mobile. Okay. <laughs> ah, I got you. Here. No, don't get me. I can't just take this. La 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 la. That is the build blaster. Um, it lets you build stuff. Ooh. I'll take. Better grab this. Get the cake. All right. Die. Die. Get away from me. No, you get away. Ouch. Okay. Freeze. Freeze. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. And you will remain silent because you don't talk. So there you go. All right. As you just saw, that was the freeze pickup, which freezes stuff. Very useful. Very, very, very useful. Oh, comes oh. in handy when you have a lot of mobs. Oh, look at him. Oh, where, where? What's going on? Oh, hello. La 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 la. Ow! He bit me. Bad dog. I still don't understand how all those things stacked together can walk Ouch. like an actual being, but that's just me. Stop shooting Tic Tacs at me. The little red blinking Tic Tacs. Oh look! It's little M and M's. Oh, wait, I know Skittles. I'll call them Skittles. The Skittles. It's a package of Skittles, shaped like a person. Back off. Alright. Oh, it's the octopus door. <laughs> That's what I call it. Oh, let's see if I can get to that sushi up there. Sushi! Why don't you just take out the pillar? Sushi. Sushi. I want sushi. Come on. No, take out this pillar that the sushi's on. Yeah, I, I see that, but I'm trying to jump. Oh, I gotcha. Jump, jump, jump. If I get your. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I'll get this. It'll go faster. Die! Collapse! There we go. Yay! Sushi. There's no point for Talk that. about massive destruction. Right. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. Yay! Pretty flowers. Ooh. A door! A door. Into the unknown. Actually, I know exactly what it is because I played through all this. Hey, look, it's a pink mushroom. You're different. <laughs> and now you're dead. And what's over here? Whoa. I don't even know how you're supposed to guess that that thing was there. But uh, the point of this, I mean, this is a neat little puzzle here. You got to use this guy to build you walkway up to like a little a little wall that you can jump up on. There we go. Now die. Die. They have a lot of health, those snail thingies. Alright, here. Alright.